Hey everyone, so today I wanted to talk about my skincare routine. Um, I think the last time I did a skincare routine was probably years and years and years ago, so things have changed a little bit since then. I've definitely started to understand skincare a bit more now um, than when I was younger where I'd just use like micellar water and moisturiser and that was it. Um, sometimes I still just do that, <laughs> but my skincare routine has a few more things to it now. Um, still very simple, like it doesn't take me long at all. So yeah, I'm going to get on and start talking you through my skincare routine. So I actually have a big box here of all the skincare products I thought were worth mentioning. To start with, I'm just going to talk through my routine. So the first product I use and one I've been using for years and years and years is the Garnier Micellar Water. This is probably now the cheapest item in my um, skincare collection. <laughs> this just gets rid of any sort of makeup that may still be there from yesterday and just makes my face feel really nice and refreshed and clean. So I just use a cotton pad with that. I have some reusable ones that I just put in the wash. Um, and then I just splash my face with water after that. I have tried some more expensive micellar waters and to be honest, I don't think they're even half as good as this one, so would we'll definitely just stick to the Garnier Micellar Water. And I've also tried the one that has oil in it, and I didn't get on with that one very well because that really hurt my eyes for some reason. Yeah, I should probably mention my skin type. I think my skin type is sensitive and pretty dry. <laughs> like if I wash my face and I leave it for like 20 minutes, it will be sore because the skin is going really tight and dry. So I'm pretty sure I have dry skin, but then also sometimes I get a bit of an oily, so maybe like dry to combination skin. Then this next step in my morning routine I sometimes skip, but if I'm having a nice slow morning I will do it, and it is to cleanse my face. But I feel like in the morning my micellar water kind of does the trick because I do quite a lot of cleansing in the evening. Um, but this is the IT Cosmetics Confidence in a Cleanser, this stuff is just so nice. It comes out as sort of like a liquidy cream consistency and then you just rub it into your face when you have a little bit of water on your face and it just like lathers up so nicely and really feels like it gives your face a nice clean. So I love this product so much. I think I've probably gone through about three of these. They actually last for ages as well. I love IT Cosmetics products so so much. Whenever people ask me like a brand to invest in if you're going to go from high street to slightly more expensive I always recommend IT Cosmetics. Their makeup and their skincare are just insane. They work really well for my skin. After cleansing my face I then sometimes reach for the Murad Environmental Shield Vitamin C Dark Circle Corrector. So it's basically just an eye cream. Murad is a very expensive brand so I'm sorry that I'm recommending expensive items. You can get more affordable vitamin C products, but I think most vitamin C products are pretty expensive, and I don't think you really need to be using it if you're quite young. So yeah, I really like this. I've been using it quite a lot under my eyes. I only found out recently that you're meant to put eye cream on first because it's meant to be like the lightest something that is on your skin. I'm still learning about skincare, but yeah didn't know that eye cream was the first thing you were meant to put on. And then I go in with a trio of liquidy serum items. The first one is the MGC CBD Derma Facial Serum for hydration. So this is a hydrating serum and I have recently started using a hydrating serum um, because they penetrate deeper than a moisturiser so I thought huh I have dry skin, why am I not using one? Um, and I've actually been really loving this and noticing such a difference using this in my skincare routine. Um, so yeah, this one is very expensive though, it's like 80 quid, which is ridiculous. Um, but I was very kindly sent this. I get sent a lot of skincare to try out um, and I don't show most of it. This is why it's taken me so long to be ready to film this video because I just want to try things out for a little while and check that they are good and worth recommending for you guys because skincare is very expensive. Next up I use one to two pumps of the Murad Environmental Shield Vitamin C Glycolic Brightening Serum. So you can use this in the morning and at night time. Um, I just use it in the morning. Again very expensive but I also tried out the Vitamin C Serum from Drunk Elephant 
and I like most of the drunk elephant things but this one I didn't get on with at all like it I feel like it made my skin break out quite badly and it also like if you get it anywhere near your mouth it tastes disgusting and um, if I get it near my eyes my eyes kind of water a bit so I didn't get on very well with the Drunk Elephant Vitamin C Serum, but I do get on quite well with a few of their other products. And then into the trio of pumps in my hand, I will add in some SPF. This one is the Glossier Invisible Shield Daily Sunscreen, and oh my goodness, this is just so good. I go between this and my Piers Buin Facial um, Sun Cream, but it's so important to have an SPF in your skincare routine because it's the best way to stop aging. If I'm going for the long version of my morning skincare routine, I will sometimes use the Drunk Elephant um, De-Bronzy Anti-Pollution Sunshine Drops, which is basically, it's kind of got like a tint to it, so it gives your skin more of a glow. Um, it's quite nice as a base for like a glowy makeup look, and it makes you look a bit more tanned, but the other day I put way too much on and <laughs> I looked ridiculous, so you need a tiny bit of this um, and it'll be good for days when I go back into London when we can do that again <laughs> because it's nice to have an anti-pollution shield but I don't use that product every day that's only for like special occasions when I want to feel a bit more bronzed and the final step in my morning skincare routine is to use a moisturizer so at the moment I've been using the Bare Minerals Pureness Soothing Light Moisturizer which is just really nice. I love the packaging as well, it's like super clean and just simple. Um, so yeah, I've been using that. But the moisturiser I've just run out of, that I just have used to death, I've gone through again quite a few of these. This is the IT Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream um, Moisturiser Super Cream. This is also anti-aging but oh, it's so nice. I use this in the daytime. But yeah, finishing off my routine with a good moisturiser to just sort of lock all of that goodness in that I've just put on my skin um, and really let it sink in because this takes the longest to soak in. So that's my morning routine down and then onto my evening routine. I start off with the Garnier Micellar Water on two cotton pads just to take off any makeup that I've been wearing that day. If I'm not wearing makeup, I will just skip this step and I will go to cleansing. If I'm wearing a lot of makeup that day and the micellar water hasn't taken everything away, I will use an oil cleanser. This one is from the Skin Laundry, but also a recent one that I finished was the Elizabeth Arden um, cleansing oil, which is so good, and that one lasted me years and years. So yeah, this is great for giving your face a good cleanse um, and just get rid of all of the makeup that is on your face. And then after that I go in with a creamy cleanser, so this one is the IT Cosmetics one, again the same one I used in the morning, um, and this one just sort of cleans your face and prepares it for all of the stuff you're going to put on it next. <laughs> and then if I'm in a real rush to go to bed, I will skip all of these steps and go straight to the moisturiser, but I like to take a little bit more time now in the evenings and just think, you know, it's going to be worth it in the morning when your face looks really nice. So once I've done my double cleanse in the evening, I then go in with an eye cream. This one is the Murad Retinol Youth Renewal Eye Serum. So I'm pretty sure retinol products are only meant to be used at night. Oh, it says you can use it in the morning and night. Um, but I just use this one at night time. Um, so I put that one on first. Again, Murad, very expensive, I know, I'm sorry. Origins also do a really nice eye cream and so do Benefit if you want a slightly cheaper one. So after eye cream, I then go in with the hydration serum and this one is a retinol youth renewal serum. So I just mix those two together and that is that. This one can only be used at night time, so that's why. I use it in my evening routine. And then for the last step, I use a moisturiser. These ones are both nighttime moisturisers. Um, so the first one is the It Cosmetics Confidence in Your Beauty Sleep Pillow Cream. <laughs> this one's really nice, it's like purple. Oh, and it smells like lavender, it's so nice. So it's really relaxing on your skin at the end of the day as well. And then I've kind of been going between both of these and this one is the Murad Retinol Youth Renewal Night Cream. And this one's got one of those funky pumps which you just press down and the product comes out. Both of these I really love. So those are my routines. 
Um, and then I thought I'd just touch on a few products that I use maybe once once every one to two weeks. Um, so products that aren't like in my everyday routine but that I really love and use quite a lot. So the first one is a scrub. So I've been using the Frank Body Creamy Face Scrub and this, I just love the packaging as well. And I also really like Frank Body stuff, like their body um, exfoliators and everything. I really like them. So to use this I just dampen my face and put a little tiny bit in and just sort of do the areas that get really dry and sort of like flaky and it just gets rid of that um, so I can carry on and do my skincare routine. And then this product was introduced to me by a friend at uni, this one is not too expensive. Um, this is the Walida Skin Food Rich Intensive Skincare for Face or Body and this is for when my skin is insanely dry and I will only use like tiny bits of this in patches because it's very thick um, so if you have really dry skin or a patch of skin that's really really dry then this would probably help a lot and finally I have my three favourite face masks so these are actually all kind of do different things um, so the first one is the Origins Clear Improvement Active Charcoal Mask and I just love this if my skin is looking a little bit spotty and just sort of getting slightly oily I just use this to sort of calm it down and control it I don't use this that often I don't actually use masks very often at all um, maybe like twice a month if that <laughs> the next one is also quite a clay like mask um, but this is a Dr Organic Bioactive Skincare Organic Rose Otto face mask but this comes out white and sort of dries um, like the charcoal masks and I just find it really soothing and it just makes my skin look nice and bright afterwards um, so I love this one. This one I got in Holland and Barrett. I actually really like the Dr Organic skincare range I find it really nice and just sort of does the job <laughs> that you want it to do. And then the final one I have is the Aveda intensive hydrating mask um, this one is from their botanical range and I really like this I tend to sometimes use like a mixture of masks on my face like I will sometimes use the charcoal one like maybe over my nose or like under here and then the hydration one where I really need um, a boost of hydration in my skin. I realise this video has probably gone on for a long time now um, and I'm sorry about that but I just thought I'd give you a massive splurge of skincare. I might do some more skincare related content on my Instagram um, if you want to see that. I thought I ought to mention these last because this is basically the last thing I use in my evening routine. These are kept by my bed and this is the Rapid Brow and the Rapid Lash Serum. The Rapid Brow really grew my brows like longer. I wouldn't say like I don't really have very thick brows um, and I was kind of hoping they'd make my brows thicker but they just sort of made them more dense. And then the Rapid Lash I also love but I don't use it every single night. Um, I just use it when I kind of, when I remember. I try and remember not to put this on before I go on my phone at night time because my eyes will then water if I'm looking at my phone and sometimes this like goes in your eyes and it really hurts so don't look at your phone after you've <laughs> put this on. There we go, that is the end of my skincare routine and sort of like skincare favourites. I hope you guys found this video helpful or informative or even if you just heard about some new brands that you haven't heard of before. So yeah, make sure you're following me on Instagram if you want some more skincare related videos and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!